The citric acid cycle is also known as the tricarboxylic acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. It is an amphibolic pathway which involves both catabolism and anabolism. This video will mainly cover its catabolic role, which releases stored energy through oxidation of acetyl-CoA derived from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The anabolic pathway involving biosynthesis of amino acids from the intermediates of citric acid cycle will be covered in future videos. The citric acid cycle involves eight steps. In my previous video titled Fates of Pyruvate, I mentioned that pyruvate dehydrogenase converts the product of glycolysis pyruvate into acetyl-CoA, which occurs in the mitochondrial matrix. The first reaction of the citric acid cycle involves the Claisen ester condensation of acetyl-CoA with oxyl acetate to form citrate, which is catalyzed by citrate synthase. The methyl carbon of the acetyl group is first joined to the carbonyl carbon of oxyl acetate, forming citroyl-CoA, which is hydrolyzed to citrate and free coenzyme A is released. In the second step of the citric acid cycle, citrate undergoes dehydration to form cis-aconitate, which undergoes hydration to form isocitrate. This reversible transformation of citrate to isocitrate is carried out by the enzyme aconitase, which contains an iron sulfur center that participates both in the binding of the substrate at the active site and in the catalytic addition or removal of water. In the next step, isocitrate undergoes oxidative decarboxylation to form alpha-ketoglutarate by the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase, which is coupled to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH. Next, alpha-ketoglutarate undergoes another oxidative decarboxylation to form succinyl-CoA by the enzyme alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex, coupling to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH, while the rest of the energy of oxidation is conserved in the formation of the thioester bond of succinyl-CoA. The mechanism of alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex is very similar to pyruvate dehydrogenase complex that I covered in my previous video. Next, the thioester bond in succinyl-CoA is cleaved to form succinate and free coenzyme A. The energy release of the breakage of this bond is coupled to the substrate-level phosphorylation of GDP to GTP, which is carried out by the enzyme succinyl-CoA synthetase named for the reverse reaction. In the sixth step of citric acid cycle, succinate is oxidized to fumarate by succinate dehydrogenase, which is coupled to the reduction of FAD to FADH2. Next, fumarate undergoes reversible hydration into L-malate by fumarase. In the last reaction of citric acid cycle, L-malate is oxidized to oxaloacetate by L-malate dehydrogenase which is coupled to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH. Oxyl acetate then combines with acetyl-CoA to start a new cycle of citric acid cycle. So the net reaction of one cycle includes the oxidation of acetyl-CoA to 2 carbon dioxide, and the free energy in this process is stored in 3 NADH, 1 FADH2, and 1 GTP molecule. NADH and FADH2 will be oxidized by the electron transport chain in oxidative phosphorylation to generate ATP, which will be talked about in future videos. Most steps in the citric acid cycle are reversible, except for steps 1, 3, and 4, which are subject to allosteric regulation. In general, since the citric acid cycle generates NADH and FADH2 as energy source for the electron transport chain, it is activated by low energy state and inhibited by high energy state. Citrus synthase is allosterically activated by ADP and inhibited by NADH, succinyl-CoA, citrate, and ATP. Isocitrate dehydrogenase is activated by calcium ion, ADP, and inhibited by ATP. Alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex is activated by calcium ion and inhibited by succinyl-CoA and NADH. In vertebrate muscle, calcium ion is a signal for contraction and increase in demand for ATP. Therefore, it would activate both isocitrate dehydrogenase and alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. And succinyl-CoA serves as an important intermediate in feedback inhibition of both citrate synthase and alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex. As I mentioned earlier, 
intermediates of the citric acid cycle often serve as the precursor to the biosynthesis of amino acids. Therefore, intermediates of the citric acid cycle are also replenished by anaplerotic reactions. There are three common anaplerotic reactions. Pyruvate carboxylate catalyzes the irreversible carboxylation of pyruvate to form oxaloacetate, which is coupled to the hydrolysis of ATP molecule and requires the coenzyme biotin. Pyruvate can also undergo carboxylation and reduction to form L-malate which is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH or NADH to NADP plus or NAD plus. The third anaplerotic reaction involves the dephosphorylation and decarboxylation of phosphorenopyruvate to replenish oxaloacetate. The phosphoryl group is transferred onto the GTP molecule. Genetic defects in fumarase gene lead to tumors of smooth muscle, known as leomas, whereas mutations in succinate dehydrogenase may lead to tumors of the adrenal gland, known as pheochromocytomas.